Okay, guys, what you're looking at here is Digger. This is a knockoff of Mr. Do. Instead of uh, apples, you got emeralds. Sorry, instead of cherries, you got uh, emeralds. And instead of apples, you got money bags. But basically the same game. Okay, enough of this. Okay. Now I'm going to switch over to... Mr. Do, so you can see the uh, similarities. Now, I grew up playing Mr. Do, and I'm familiar with Mr. Do, but I've never heard of Digger until I stumbled upon the uh, Q Basic uh, version of it. So, to me, it's a uh, it's a complete, you know, rip off of the Mr. Do game. I think most people that grew up with Digger don't know that there is a Mr. Do version that it was based on. Dig Dug is also very similar, but I think uh, Mr. Do is what they were uh, aiming to clone. Okay. That's enough of that. So next, I'm going to load up the uh, Q Digger, which is the uh, Q Basic version. And there's a couple different versions here. Um, I'm just going to run it to show you. It's a, very, it's a little slow running, uh, loading up and running. But it's... There we go. So just by the looks of it, it looks like it's uh, using the uh, masking technique. To create the images so it doesn't uh, display any black borders for I guess displaying the uh, the money bags and the emeralds there is sound you have to press f8 it doesn't have the complete sound that the uh, that the other digger version has but it does have some sound the controls are a little unresponsive um, but Otherwise, everything else looks looks good. Looks uh, like a nice rendition. So I'm going to exit that. And let's load. I think this is the uh, better version. It's in a higher res. But again, it doesn't improve the, uh, the speed. I think with DOSBox, you can make DOS programs run better if you increase or decrease the, uh, the cycles. I'm not going to do that because uh, I like the uh, the settings I have right now for DOSBox and I don't want to mess with it. And we're almost there. It takes a while for this. Okay, here we go. So, much better graphics, but only one quarter of the uh, the screen you're seeing there. Okay, and there's this version. So I'm not sure what's different about this version except being uh, shown in a smaller screen than the uh, the first one we looked at. But uh, yeah. 
So even though I'm saying Q basic, I, I think for uh, you actually need to, a quick basic QB45. Yeah, I think this is just the same version as the first one, except um, it's just showing it in the uh, top left corner and giving you the, uh, the help information. Yeah. So I think that's the only difference. Otherwise, the colors all look the same. Anyway, if we take a look at the uh, the code here, it, it looks like someone has taken care to write this code and uh, make it readable. So it's something, if you're looking to uh, make something similar to this game, it might be good to take a look and see how this was done. All the data statements, all the, uh, the backgrounds, the the uh, characters, um, it's all self-contained in this single large basic file. Um, it's on GitHub. I'm going to put the uh, links down in the uh, description and also links to the uh, original Digger. There's some interesting history about that game and uh, windmill software. And that's where I'll end this video. Thanks for watching.